They say that winners are born in the mind and we are all capable without exception. But if greatness is simply a matter of one's manner of perception, then I think this necessitates a call for self-reflection. How do I see myself? I decided to look in the mirror today. And in that girl in the mirror, I saw deep down in her inner what had always been within her. And yes, she had bags so heavy they could be called baggage. You could see the wear, the tear, and even the slight damage, the knit, the grit, and all of the dirt, the bumps and the bruises, and the places that still hurt. If you saw her, you'd probably say, yikes, you've seen better days. But it's days like these that make us and days like these that wake us up to the reality that we cannot be a casualty of that part of our humanity that leads us to live in this fantasy where one day my dreams will be handed to me on a silver platter. But it's the struggles for them that really matter because that is where you build substance. That is where you build character. You see, it's days like these that no one really talks about because it's where you see the ugly in you. In fact, ugly begins with you choosing to face your L so you can start gaining double U's. There's literally no use in looking to a past full of exes, ex-boyfriends, ex-projects, or even old excuses, when you could just look a little further down the alphabet and remember why you chose to do this. Why did you begin in the first place? Why did you even start this race? Why, knowing all the risks and sacrifices you'd have to make, you still chose to take that first step and the very challenge you embraced, but now you want to run away just because you're facing not so easy days? I decided to look in the mirror today. And in that girl in the mirror, I saw deep down in her inner the battle between wisdom and foolishness and which would try to win her. It's time to give her, it's time to give myself the opportunity that I deserve. So I'm cutting off all distractions like spit ends and if you're leading me to dead ends, then my friend, it's time to do a big chop and bring this relationship to an end. Because if you're not heading to my destination or you want to play games like a roundabout, then you can take the first exit on the left because that is not what I'm about. Not anymore. You see, I'm focusing on my own lane now and I'm done doing things my way, so it's the most highway or the highway. And just like a GPS, I'm giving him all my ways so that I can see fullness of life and length to my days. That's a promise. And I'm gonna get there in the end. I decided to look in the mirror today. And in that girl in the mirror, I saw deep down in her inner what had always been within her. The heart of a champion and the spirit of a winner. So if winners are born in the mind, and we are all capable without exception, and greatness is simply a matter of one's manner of perception, then I think this necessitates a call for self-reflection. How do you see yourself?